Hi, this video is about doing best. That's how to run the Bayesian estimation software that accompanies the article Bayesian Estimation Supersedes the T-Test in the Journal of Experimental Psychology General. This video explains how to install and run the software, not what it does. For what it does, see the article and other videos linked at the website shown here. When you go to that website, you'll see a page that looks like this. It includes links to a lot of information, including the article, videos, and the software itself. In particular, one of the links is to a web app version of BEST created independently by Rasmus Bath. If you click the web app link, you can see what the Bayesian estimation does without having to install any software on your computer. Instead, the application runs entirely in JavaScript within your browser. When you click the web app link, you'll see a page like this. You can enter data uh, on the lower left, just click to start the JavaScript, and then watch what happens. It's terrific to dynamically uh, see how the Bayesian estimation works and get a good sense of what this process involves. If you want, however, the full-blown version of BEST, you'll need to install some software, and that's what I'll describe next. To run BEST on your computer, you'll have to install software called R and JAGS. R is a general-purpose programming system used by many statisticians. It has to talk to some Bayesian software called JAGS, and it gets to JAGS via a package called RJAGS. Some of you may have heard of other Bayesian software called BUGS, those were predecessors to JAGS. R can also communicate with WinBugs and OpenBugs, but the best software uses JAGS. We'll also be using an environment that lets us edit and view R, and that environment is called RStudio. To get all the needed software, go to the BEST web page and notice in the highlighted yellow the link that uh, shows you the complete installation instructions at a blog post. When you go to the linked blog post, the blog post shows step-by-step -step how to install R, RStudio, JAGS, RJAGS, and the programs from the book if you want them. If you follow these steps in order, carefully, the software should install seamlessly for you, whether you're using Windows or Macintosh operating systems or Linux. Please notice also after the steps for installation, there are important tips for running the programs. Please do read those tips and keep them in mind. And be sure to get the best programs themselves from the best website as highlighted in yellow here. The programs come in a zip file. When you save that zip file to your computer, be sure to unzip it or extract all the files. Once you've extracted the files, they should be in a folder on your computer, perhaps on your desktop. From your computer desktop, open that folder with the best files in it. Windows is shown here. Do the equivalent in a Macintosh. Select the file bestexample.r and open with, or do the equivalent in Mac OS. Browse to RStudio and be sure to check Always Use or the equivalent in Mac OS. From now on, your computer knows to open .r files in RStudio. When you click OK, the program bestexample.r 
opens in RStudio. Notice the four panes in the RStudio window. In the upper left, the best example .r program is shown. In the lower left is the console in which you can interactively type commands to R. In the upper right is the workspace that shows objects, variables, functions that are currently in R's memory. And in the lower right, it shows the files in R's current working directory. It's important to make sure that the working directory is the folder with best.r and other supporting programs. The working directory is set automatically to the folder of the program if RStudio is invoked indirectly by clicking the program file as we did. That is, we opened RStudio by simply selecting the program and the program knew to open RStudio. If you're in RStudio and you want to check what the working directory is or you want to set it, you can go to Tools, then Set Working Directory, and then you can select to uh, the source file location or choose the relevant directory. In RStudio's editing window, scroll down bestexample.r to see the lines shown here. At the upper right, the Run button executes the line of code of the current cursor position or whatever lines are selected that is highlighted. The Source button executes all the lines in the program. At the beginning of this program, there are a few lines that are optional. They clear R's memory and graphics. Lines that begin with a pound sign or a number sign, they indicate comments. If you don't want to clear R's memory or remove all its current graphics, simply put comments, comment symbols, in the front of these lines. The next line gets the functions loaded into R's working memory. This source function gets the best.r file from the current working directory. If the current working directory isn't pointing at the folder with that file, you'll get an error message. When you run this line, notice that functions appear in R's workspace, shown in another pane of RStudio. These are the functions that were defined in the file best.r. Then you just specify your data. Here I've typed them in in the file, but you can replace these with your own data as needed, and you can read in data files in many different formats. When those lines are executed, Notice that the variables y1 and y2 appear in R's workspace. Then we run the Bayesian analysis. When this one is executed, the console shows dynamically the progress of the MCMC sampling. This will take a few minutes because it's generating a very long chain. It defaults to taking 100,000 steps. If you want to interrupt this, you can click the stop sign at the upper right of the console window, but if you do this, unfinished information is not saved. The next line displays graphics that summarize the posterior distribution. When this line is executed, two graphics windows appear, perhaps behind the RStudio window. One graphic, shown here, is a subset of points from the 100,000 step MCMC sample. It shows pair plots of the five parameters being estimated. The second graphic shows 
a summary depiction of the posterior distribution, including a difference of means, the difference of standard deviations, the effect size, and the posterior predictive check. However, the graphic only displays the first three digits of the numerical results, and we might want more detailed summary information. That's obtained from the next lines in the script. When you run that line, the console displays information about each parameter in great detail. In fact, it displays perhaps more digits than are actually meaningful. It is up to you, the user, to decide how many of these digits are actually meaningful in the context of your work. Finally, at the end of the script, you can save the graphs and the results of the Bayesian estimation. For more details, please see the article and the links in this website. Thanks very much. I hope it's useful software to you, and may all your results be credible.